England versus Scotland at Wembley yeah. Stadium, what does that conjure in your mind? Great memories. Um, you know, just to play at Wembley is quite special. And there, was, there was always such a tremendous atmosphere there because we always had the vast majority of supporters. So it's a great place to play, a great game to play in. Didn't always get the result we wanted, but it was a, always a great game to play in. Managed to score at Wembley. Um, what was that experience like, and, and can you remember the goal? Well, you know, it's that one. Yeah, it was a. I think it was a penalty against Peter Shilton, but we lost two one on the night. So it was all about the result, not about me scoring a penalty. But I think we we ran them close that night. Maybe should have sneaked something from the game. How important is it for the self confidence in the squad to, to play against the English and to do well against the English? It's been a while since we've played them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you know the. The team should be going to Wembley full of confidence. Oh, they beat Croatia, OK, they had to spend a lot of the time without the ball, a lot of time on the back foot defending their area. And they showed great resilience and, and collectively, you know, they played, they played as a unit. They were all, they all knew what they should be doing. Um, they should go to Wembley with no fear. In England, there are, you know, there are some couple of great players, some very good players, but they should be going there without any fear. You went to three World Cups as a as a Scotland mm. player. What will it take to get us back to major finals? You have to qualify out your group, obviously. But it's no. I, th I think we're under Gordon Strachan. and there couldn't be anyone better. I think having played the game, vastly experienced coach, both here in Scotland and in England, he's tailor made for the job. He's got a passion about him, which will come across to the players and motivate them. And ultimately, going forward, hopefully, creating this the new league. Uh, will produce better players. You know that is the key. It's not always about coaches. It's about you know players. Um, a lot of the time, it's not. You know, I, I look back at my own story and I, I think, you know, how did I become a football player? And I I spent so much time with the ball. On my own, and then later on, you come under the influence of coaches and you start to understand a bit more about the you know the structure of a game of football. But I think it's all about players. We need to we need to. Um, get better players that can get us qualified for these competitions again. Gordon Strachan tells the same story, 4,000 touches against each wall as an 8, 7, 6 year old. Yeah. Um, has that gone out of the game and what do we need to do? We need to make players better, what can we do collectively? Well, it, has to gone, it has gone out of it. It's inevitable. When you can turn, when you can get a remote control in your hand and you can flick a switch and you have access to 250 channels on a television, or you pick this remote up and you can play these, these games on your computer. You know, that, None of that was obviously around when we were kids, and it was I, I was either on a bike or I was kicking a ball. Now that's the world. That's the same in every country. Um, and again, when you look at our climate, that works against us because you know if it's pouring down the rain, kid, this remote, that remote will go out and kick a ball in the rain. That's what we're faced with. But somehow, and this is why this new league, new formation, hopefully generate a bit more excitement, a bit more interest in the kids, and make more people want to play football. You've seen a lot of the Scottish players in the England uh, in the English Premier League. Which players have stood out for you, and who do you think will be the key players for oh. the game at Wembley? I like Morrison at West Brom. I like Snodgrass, to, you know, to step up a level. Um, I think if they're going to go there and win, win, they're going to have to do it um, collectively. You're not going to go there and win by two or three pl players doing well. Um, so I think it'll have to be a, a whole um, a whole group doing well on the night. You know, it's not easy going to Wembley, even when you know, we had better players than the English had. You know, it was always a very difficult game. And that's not to say we have no chance when we play there. I think we've got a great chance. Can it be the making of international players, maybe guys who haven't experienced it before, guys who've seen it on TV? Does it make them feel better about themselves in that company? Well, I think if you've got anything about you, you want to play against better players all the time. You know, come, come back to me as a kid. I got, without realising it at the time, when I was a kid, I was the youngest of three sons. So I was always playing with people better than me. And it's like for a modern player today, you always want to be testing yourself against people better than you. The atmosphere they'll enjoy, but you know, there's nowhere better than here for atmosphere when the crowd get behind you. So yeah, I think if you don't go to Wembley and enjoy it, then you're in your own business. When you assess the World Cup qualifying campaign so far, the Croatia result has actually mm -hmm. uh, reinvigorated the squad because otherwise it would have looked pretty ominous going to Wembley and then playing a resurgent Belgium at, yeah. at Hamden. Just how big has it been for the, the players' confidence to get that result? Well, every player needs a certain degree of confidence. Some need a hell of a lot. Some really need to feel they're loved and they're playing well before they can be at the best. And others can brush it off and, and um, just get by with very little um, pats on the back and feel the feel-good factor. 
I, I think it will help us enormously. I think Croatia were the third or fourth rated team in the world when we beat them. So that's a feat. Yeah, we didn't, you know, we didn't dominate the ball. We didn't play lots of sexy football, but we were together. We hung in there, and we we showed that we um, all knew what each other was doing, and we showed great resilience. And there'll have to be a, that, a bit of that at Wembley as well. And hopefully, we our flair players, players can come up with something. Just finally, on SPFL launch today, we seem to have lost the idols, the icons, the the Sunnises, the Douglases, the, even the James McFadden, who's probably the last iconic Scotland player. How important is the new body to, to get that? Well, it's very, it's very important back? because you know we want more kids playing football, and to have more kids playing football, then they've got to have people who want to aspire, aspire to. They want people who, oh, I'd like to be him one day, or I'd like to play like him one day. And we need more and more of that. And hopefully, you know, this, this new setup will encourage that, make it more exciting, hopefully make it more attractive to people. Um, and then we'd all win, because more people playing football gives you a better chance of getting better players at the end of the day. Thank you, Jim.